Hello and welcome to this video where I'll talk about a very interesting subject that is data transformation. Suppose you have a data which looks like this. Amy has completed three subjects, Excel, Power BI level one, Power BI level two. Now, a lot of you who are using Excel Power Query would know that it's a very easy task to convert this data into something like this using Power Query. However, my main target of this video is to show you how do you convert this data back to this format and that's where the challenge lies. So for people who have not used Power Query, let me just take a quick minute to show them how to convert this data into the table given on the right hand side. So I pick up the table number one, I then go to the data tab. Next, I find the section get and transform data, which is what the Power Query refers to and then I click on from table and range. Done, the data goes to Power Query window. I choose the subject column. I then go to transform and I'm looking for a button which is called split column. And within that I choose by delimiter, why? Because I need to divide the data points at the point where the comma exists. So comma is the delimiter and the advanced options allow me to split the data in rows, which means vertically. So I click on OK and just as an extra step, I ensure the data is trimmed and once that is done, I easily say file close and load. So once this is loaded to Excel, you can clearly see the, the kind of outcome that has been generated. Now the challenge is how do I get back from this stage to this stage? And I'm going to talk about two solutions. Let me take the second one first, which is that of Power Query. So I have these multiple names, Amy, Satya, Amy, Amy, all not in order. And whatever subjects, whenever they have completed, I want them to be aggregated against their names as if they are supposed to get three certificate of completion. So I pick up the table. I then go to data, get the data from the table range and I click on OK. Next, I go to transform tab and then I click on group by. Now here's a twist. The group by window does not give me any option related to concatenate or join. So there's a trick and the trick is I'll use the first column as a grouping anchor name and then I will use the subject column to do a basic max calculation. I know subject is a text value. You cannot find max, but just hold on for this trick. I click on OK. Now this formula bar, which you can activate from the view tab, top left corner has a part which needs to be changed. So this list dot max. I will replace with another M query function called text. And this is case sensitive. So I have to be careful. T capital E X T dot C capital O M B I N E and text combine asks for the column along with the delimiter with which you want to separate the data points or a separator. So double quotes, comma, one space and double quotes closed. So I've made the small change here. Again, repeating it's case sensitive. So make sure the C of combine is capital T of the text is also capital. And then I remove the word nullable backspace enter. See how quickly the transformation gave you Amy as one single value along with that all the subjects she has completed. And once this is done, you can easily say close and load. So this is the solution number one of how do you convert this table back into the format, which looks like this. You can pause the video. You can rewatch the video because this is something you might have to practice alongside the video once to get a good hang of it. Now the next solution, which I want to show you does not require power query. Instead, it requires the combination of formula text join in the office 365 environment so that the formula can spill over other cells. So the first formula says unique. Unique means it will quickly pick up all the unique names from a list. So Amy and Satya. So let me write this for you. Unique. I choose the entire range. Enter. So there you go. The formula got spilled over and I get Amy and Satya. Great. Now I will introduce you to the formula text join in the basic level. So I'm using text join. What it asks you for is first the delimiter, let's say comma which will act as a separator between whatever cells or strings of characters would you like to join. Next, it says that, look, I might encounter a series of blank cells. So you want me to ignore them or want me to consider them as a standalone virtual text. So I say, please ignore them. And for that, true. 
and then it asks me hey can you choose the cells which you want to combine now i'm sure we don't intend to choose one cell at a time because that's going to be a huge exercise right although it will give you the answer but this is not the way we would want to solve it so if i take one step back i may want to put a curly braces pair maybe i would want to write excel close the double quotation comma then power bi but this also is very time consuming right so i need a logic a logical statement which will automatically pick up those values from the subject list to which amy is associated with and that is why i introduce here if formula so let's see how the if will be written if this entire range all the individual value please check if that matches with amy the name that i'm choosing right now now what it does is virtually if i choose this entire portion of the formula and press the function key f9 it will give me a series of true false true depending on which values have been matched with amy so amy matched true satya not match false so for every true i want certain value and for every false ignore some values so for these series of trues and false what is the kind of values i wish to extract that's the subject list itself so for every true those values will be materialized and for every false the values from this list corresponding to the original true and false sequence will be ignored so once i press enter you will see this false value coming into the place where amy has not been matched so how do i ignore that i add another parameter which says if the value is false just ignore it just with a pair of double quotations enter so there you go this formula i can copy paste down and i get all the answers that i was looking for i understand that you will have to pause the video maybe even rewind the video to watch some of these steps and it would be a great idea if you can do that do let me know in the comments whether this really help you go to the next level of excel and power query happy to listen to more such ideas and questions